Hey everyone, this is Will from BeerNIT.com and today I am going to show you um, just a small tutorial on HTML. And HTML, if you might, if you don't know, is the pretty much the building blocks of the internet as we know it. And it's not a programming language; it's considered a markup language. And what that means is it um, manipulates how uh, information is displayed on the screen. It doesn't really uh, do a whole lot as with the actual information. It just it just changes how it's shown. And in addition to the small HTML tutorial, I am going to show you how to use uh, image hosting websites, how to um, properly link like images onto forum posts, and uh, so you know you'll be able to do that kind of thing if like you want to go and like if you're using our our forum on our website and it's saying you know I have a computer problem here's my error message you'll be able to take a screenshot and then you can upload it and show us the actual image problem so let's get to it first of all for the HTML tutorial I have installed notepad plus plus it's pretty much the same thing as regular notepad it just has a couple of really nice little features it's a little more programmer friendly it has a feature called text highlighting which shows you like you'll see in a second here um, in order to start an HTML document, we have to start with a HTML that's in caps, HTML tag, and HTML is based off tags. So whenever there's an open tag, there must be a closed tag, and that is pretty much the golden rule of HTML. Um, in this case, you know we're going to do a p, <laughs> a p for paragraph, and a closed p for paragraph, and we're going to write. Hello world, which is sort of a traditional programmer thing for your first time. We're going to save it as hello world.html. And now you'll see it show up here in the desktop. And when you run it, um, one second, it actually shows, it shows up with just the words hello world. Um, that's the basis for HTML. Where it goes from there is really um, objects and uh, tags called divs or dividers. Um, but like, let's say, you know, there's also the heading tag. We'll call it H1. And we'll say hey, and close H1, and you can just hit save and actually go to your web browser here and hit reload. And see the heading tags are bigger than the than the paragraph tags, so they're designed to be used above and then paragraphs below. I did it kind of backwards, but you, know, you, can, you, you can see the difference. Um, aside from that, you can go to um, we'll use a video I just put up. You know, we don't need to know what it says at the moment, but if we click this embed tag here, it'll actually give us the embedding code. And what the embedding code is for is you know it's a, you see an object tag and then it closes the object tag and what that actually does is it sticks the YouTube uh, player in the video in the page itself so we save that and we hit re refresh and you see there's the actual YouTube video in uh, in our test website you know and as far as this goes I mean if you really got good at writing HTML you could actually write like an e-card and you'd have like you know a background and some filling in and a personalized message and like let's say you you um, wrote your grandmother or uh, you made a video for your grandma and you wanted her to see it you could actually make the card around this and then send her the file itself attached to an email and when she ran the file it would actually show the card and then would link to the YouTube video so I mean, there's there's a lot of little little things you can do with it aside from actual uh, website work. I mean, a lot of things. I think Twitter actually uh, lets you use some HTML tags to um, make changes, and you can you can make links and uh, so on and so forth. Now we're going to go into the uh, video hosting um, for small pictures. I like to use TinyPic. Some people like to use some other ones. Um, Photo Bucket makes you make an account, but you can store some larger pictures there. And for this, we're just going to store one of our logo pictures. 
and we're going to upload it. It's going to ask me to type in the CAPTCHA to make sure I'm not spamming. It's going to pop this guy up here and what this is, it's going to show you what you can put in HTML code and this is the code right here for image boards. So as far as the HTML code, make sure we got it all selected and we'll put it in our little test page and refresh it. And you see down here, there's the actual picture. Um, this ahref link, right, this uh, phrase right here, is actually how you do a link. And when the a closes for a normal link, where you see this this first tag, the tag opens with, with the carat and it ends with the carat. If you would actually type something in here picture and hit save it'll show up as picture and what that picture does it actually gives you a link back to that location um, if this href was actually like another like that it's a website here so you see tiny pick when you click on picture it takes you to tiny pick if it was a website say you know Google it would take you to Google that's how links are built in HTML now we're going to go to our website quick. Your.com. And we're going to go to our forums. I want to go to the spam section because it's not an actual PC topic. And I'm going to make a new thread. I'm going to call it test for now. And what test is going to do is, you see this guy here, this was the image code for forms and message boards. What the image tag does is it lets you put in um, pictures. Testing for a tutorial. And if you submit this thread, you actually see that the picture is shown up right here. Now what this means is that um, you could go and take a screenshot of your problem you're having on your PC and go and save it and upload it to TinyPic and uh, take the image tag code and put it in here and say I'm having this problem with my computer, paste the image tag in and tell us what's going on and we can give you a much better response as to uh, your problem. Well thanks, I hope that you've gotten something out of this tutorial and I'm Will for Be Your Own IT.